know it's a little windy out, but I'm just going to give you a, kind of an idea what we're going to be doing in the next little while. And this one here is a 47 Ford. And we're just going to keep the cab on this one. We're going to turn it into a 40. So we got the fenders and some more stuff in the back. Then we got a front end here. And we're going to put a 9 inch diff in the back. This is going to be the frame. Because you know, you see me building these uh, 56s, and I'm just going to show you some of the other things that we do. And I am hoping I can bring this to you. This will be a good project to watch. And then this one here is a 40 panel van. And it's going to be a cool build as well. And it'll get the treatment, you know, a nice engine. And won't be uh, kind of stockish like the 40. So I'm hoping to bring that one to you too. And then you can see we got, there's the Project 56 mark right there. Just sitting there waiting. Work is getting in the way. Got an old tow truck. So, stay tuned. I'm hoping to bring you guys some cool stuff. In this episode, we're going to sandblast and paint a frame. I'm actually going to show you the components that I use. And so this is the frame that's going to be on that 40 Ford truck project. And we'll do a little sandblast and painting on these ones here as well. This is a, this differential is just a 9 inch. Ford. It's out of an Edsel, I think. And that right there is just an original front end for the 40 Ford. So I'll stand back. You can watch me sandblast. Make sure I've got some distance. I don't want to wreck my camera. Got the frame sandblasted and of course there's never any good news when you sandblast. And a little bit of rust down here where the cross member meets. So basically just gonna take a piece of uh, metal, cut her out, weld her in, easy. Just gonna take a little time, that's all. Check down here and see what we got. This side down here is good. show you what I grind with. All I've got on the back of my grinder here is just a used little zip disc and I got a 24 inch or 24 grit pad. Now keep that pad sharp. Keep cutting the edge off.
And brand new again. Just a little bit of primer, uh, filler and some primer and kind of mass off where I weld it up. It's all good. Time to hang her. Alright, you see we got her all hung up. Now I know that you know I'm using some pretty good wire, but I always leave something underneath just in case it does fall on you. I've got it up high enough so that I can make it a little bit easier for me to spray. And if you want a little nicer finish, just hit the sides with some 80 grit. It'll take off that little roughness from the sandblasting. Make it all pretty. Okay. Gonna finish plasticking off all my stuff in the shop and then uh, we'll get going on the painting. Looks good. Okay, I promised that I would uh, show you the products that I'm using because a lot of people do ask and they say, you know, hey, what are you using for a product? Well, today I use this Cloverdale Dura Prime quite a bit. And I quite like it. It's it's an inexpensive uh, epoxy primer, and it works. I think it works quite well. So on top of that, I'm going to go with the uh, Armor Shield Cloverdale again. It's it seems to be really tough to be able to find a semi gloss anymore. So they have it, and I'm going to give that a try. Once again, inexpensive. So, you're just painting the frame. Now, if you're doing a real serious hot rod and you're going to go base coat clear, well, that's up to you. I'm just using my finish line DeVilvis primer gun. I like it because I can spray a little thicker stuff and my pot's nice and uh, um, a little bit larger so I don't have to come back and refill. So, we're going to get set up here. Uh, I've got my uh, uh, epoxy all mixed up and no induction time. I even use this stuff here when I'm as a sealer before I paint anything but it has a little bit of a, like a lot of them do, have a little bit of a rough uh, finish when they're done so when it's completely dry I give it a little sand with some thousand grit and spray right over top it. Works really well. Okay, our armor shield, four to one, epoxy primer. 4 to 1, and then I thinned it a little bit with some thinner. We're ready to go. So, gonna get set up, and we'll see where, where I can set the camera up so we don't get too much overspray. Alright. Time to start spraying.
We got her done. Now, the paint itself is a little thick. Uh, fortunately enough, I've got a uh, primer gun, so I was able to spray it. But if you're spraying through a regular gun, you're going to have to thin it down a little bit. Nice thing about spraying it on thick, you're not going to give her many runs. I think it looks good. We'll let her dry up, see what she looks like in the morning. Been a couple days. It's uh, nice and dry. Really like the sheen on this, you know, and you put your fingernail in there. It's uh, it seems to be a fairly tough paint. Very happy with it. Other than the fact it's maybe a little bit thick, but you can just thin that down. Uh, I give her my thumbs up. If you want an economical way of painting your frame and you want it to look good, follow along. All right, we've got a diff and a front end to paint, but I'm not going to bore you with that. So, till the next project.